Hey guys, we're going to jump right into another use case for Xerox. This time it's a private share with the web backend. So we got the same setup as the last video, which was a public share of the web backend. Only this time we are going to use the private share feature. So on the right side, we have the remote computer. It happens to be a desktop in my living room, um, but I'm not accessing it over the regular Wi-Fi. I'm using Xerox. And so in this case, I've got a file with some important secret stuff that I need to copy to my local laptop computer. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is run Xerox. So I'm gonna run Xerox share private. And just like the last time when I did a public share, I'm gonna use that same backend web mode. Now it's kind of hard to see, but there's a period at the end. And that means the current directory where I, I'm running this, the temp Xerox directory. And that's where my important secret stuff file is located. So this time, instead of a URL, we have a Xerox command for accessing the private share. It comes with a token. And that token is a secret. Anybody in the world that's running Xerox would be able to access this if they had that token, but only if. So on the left side is my laptop. And I'm going to run the prescribed command, Xerox access private with the token. And that gives me a little web server running on my laptop hosted by Xerox on my laptop. And now if I copy that URL to the local host on my clipboard, and I say, let's do a quiet curl of that, we can see that we have a kin test file. And although there are no files in the directory right now, if I go ahead and say, do a quiet download of kin test, then we can now see the file is there and we've got the secret stuff securely copied from one computer to another. So while I've got that on my clipboard, I'll also paste that into the web browser so we can see that the localhost proxy that's running on, that's being provided by Xerox on this computer is also visible. And so I can get to the stuff in the same way. All right, that's about it for the private share. Uh, stay tuned for another video and we'll uh, unpack another use case for Xerox.